Welcome back. All right, it is Football Sunday, and of course, we are very excited for that. And of course, your menu is likely already planned a bit, but it's not just pro football folks that players need the fuel for in their bodies. Us amateurs need to know how to fuel our bodies and our little athletes as well. Joining us now to talk about nutrition strategies for the athletes, or you, or the ones in your life. Uh, some game day fun as well is registered dietitian of A for Health Nutrition Consulting, Christina Jack. So Yay! good to have you back. Oh it has gosh. been years since she's been yes. here so we are very excited yes uh, you bring some good tips as always so we're gonna talk about fueling ourselves and our bodies but you also have a tailgate tip that people right now if you're packing a cooler yes. listen up. We'll we'll get into all the good nutrition I love talking about hydration so we'll talk about that mostly first but there's always the fun hydration right so this is so easy if you've got um, any ice cube trail work but I like the silicone ones pop your favorite juice in there I'm a fan of grapefruit juice and then when you get to your tailgate you can just pop those ice cubes out of juice into your mimosa cup throw in some Prosecco or champagne and voila so you don't have to worry about it ever staying super chilled because you already have that figured out and it saves you a step having to go get an extra bag of ice you know on the way or whatever exactly nice. so that's super easy and that's fun now obviously talking about fueling athletes um, hydration is you know at a4 health consulting we spend a lot of time with pro athletes all the way down to youth athletes talking about what's important in fueling their best um, performance hydration is number one 70 percent of your muscles are made out of water so <laughs> if even two percent dehydration so that's like when you um, feel thirst come on mm -hmm. you have a decrease in performance so um, <laughs> Um, you can do a wide variety of things uh, to fuel yourself. There's, you know, all the sports drinks out there, but you can actually make your own, and I'll provide a recipe for you guys, oh, a good. couple of recipes on making your own. Um, the key is you have to have some electrolytes, right? So we want to make sure that we've got some sodium, just really simple. I like a nice little sea salt for mine. Um, so you add just a little bit of salt. That's what you're going to find in any sort of sports drink. And then add carbohydrate, because you need a little bit of carbohydrate when you're fueling um, your performance. Okay. That's what your muscles like to use as well and then you could use coconut water you could use regular water because you also need potassium so potassium is another electrolyte that you need to fuel your performance so when we sweat we don't just lose water we lose sodium potassium chloride and all of those things are the things that actually power and fuel our muscle and we actually need sodium for water to go into our cells which is the opposite because you think of hydrating yourself and staying away from the salt but right. and I and I would like to dismiss that now because yeah. it's so true and there's you know there's electrolyte things that you can get on the market too but it's really DIY and you can do this my other favorite tip now this could be for tailgate too this is so simple for tailgate like you could literally just chop this and use a spoon oh, and yeah. have yummy watermelon it's kind of the end of that season so we should enjoy it but the tip that I have for athletes when they're done with whatever workout or game is just a little salt on the watermelon it is a perfect hydrate hydrating um, food. Nice. So you've got your sodium, your potassium, your chloride, and you've got a lot of water there. All right, so, we got to go quickly here because yep, we're running out of time. Absolutely. So then protein, that is important for any athlete. It obviously keeps your muscles um, strong and that provides the performance. Um, but also for game day. So I love this. This is easy. You can have your meat sticks. You can have protein packs. I'm going to have to cut you off here because yeah. we're literally running up the no end problem. of the show. So your recipe, we're going to put on our website yep. and more of these tips we'll add to our website absolutely. as well. Okay. Yep. No problem. Christina Jack, she always overloads us with good stuff. Good, Mace, over to you for a check of our weather before we wrap things up.